Welcome to the plus advanced tutorial. Now I am gonna demonstrate image cascading. It's one of the biggest add-on, biggest widget from the plus add-ons. So let me show you the how it works. First of all, you have the multiple image uh, image options here. You can duplicate any or you can add new items like this you can you have all the options available here but the most important part in this image cascading is the minimum height option you have to predefine the height of this section because we have position options and those works based on the minimum height so also to make it responsive we have put the minimum height option for each device like you can select the different height in the tablet different in the mobile there are also options for slide show like if you have multiple cascading images here you can make it autoplay or based on on click if you select the on click when you click over that you will see it on the top right whichever you will click it will be on the top and on the autoplay option it will be changed as per the time you select so let's come back to the main options first of all you have the multiple image options and when you go into single option you will have the first option for the position it's most important in the cascading images you can choose the position on percentage from the left right top and bottom right if you select the if you turn it off it will take the auto and if you turn it on you have to put the value of the percentage if you put here the 10 percent it will go here so you just need to adjust it as per your needs right one another thing is if you drag it over here it will go up and that will be in the bottom so you can use the that as per your needs and the layer positions are all the options are available in the desktop as well as for the tablet and the mobile but if you don't need to, those options to overwrite on the tablet, you keep it off. But if you need that to change the position option in the tablet, you just need to turn it on and you can select all the options with left, right, top, bottom. And if you keep it turned off, it will take by default from the desktop version. And in the mobile, you can turn it off or on. If you keep mobile version also off, it will take from the desktop. So those are the options for the position, the width you can select from here. If you want the 6, 10, it will be like this. So you can select the width as for your needs. Let's keep it 650 or better 350. You can select the layer type, like which layers you want. But right now we have the image option here, and then you can select the image. You can select an image for you, and then you can select the image size. If you want the full, then you can type the full, and if you need a thumbnail, if you put the thumbnail, it will be here. So you can select any size. As per the WordPress standards, here comes the extra options. There are lots of continuous effects. We have put it's pulse. You can see the effect here. You have the Kanban scale. It will slowly go down. You have drop waves like this. You can select all the color options and everything. And if you want to make it beautiful, you can give it a border radius, something like this. 
और इफ यू सो यू हैव ऑल द ऑप्शन लेट्स कम बैक टू वेजिवर यू ऑल्सो हैव द होवर ड्रॉप वेव्स ऑप्शन दैट मीन वेन यू होवर ऑन इट इट विल शो दैट वैल्यू सो यू कैन प्ले विथ दिस ऑप्शन देन यू हैव द मैजिक स्कोर ऑप्शन वी हैव मेड द सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर द मैजिक स्कोर बट वी कैन एक्सप्लेन बीट हियर एज वेल so in the magic scroll it's a uh, based on the scroll effect like when you scroll it you will see the effect like if you you have the option of offset and the duration let me show you and you have the option for the initial and final like for example if you have initial position as a horizontal distance and vertical distance for example you have the vertical distance of minus 200 and on the final let's keep it the positive 200 and in the final version you will have minus 5 so when you scroll it down it will be like this right and this offset means in general the magic scroll start effect from the center and the image or the any element reach to the center it will start taking effect if you don't put the offset it will be on the middle line when this element will reach in the middle of your screen it will start moving right but if you want to make it move from the beginning you can put something like minus 200 or minus 500 If you put minus 500, it will start effect from the early, right? So you can use offset as per your needs. Then this will be a duration. That means if you how much longer you want that effect. If you put the hundred only, it will start effect and finish in the hundred pixel area. So. we suggest to keep it longer so you have a smooth scroll effect you have all the options here like initially you can keep the opacity initially you can keep the opacity half and in the final one if you put it the one it will have effect something like this when you scroll it will be like one opacity gradually we have the same for the scale and the rotate so that was the options in the magic scroll then you have the options for the tool tip you have the editor option from which you can put the html content or anything and in the context text you can put the normal text here you could have the options for alignment you have option all the options for the typography with the responsive options if you select this it will be back to default you have the option for the text also in the style of tool tip you have the options for tool tips like it you can make it interactive that means on the tool tip you can go and select the text or not that depends on you uh, then there is the option for the position the theme the width of the tool tip offset value the distance arrow arrow color trigger you can select you want the tool tip on hover or on click you can select the animation of the tool tip come up like you can you have the all the options it's a duration duration out ultimately we have all the options for the tooltip unfortunately tooltip will not work in the back end you just need to select all the options you need to update and go to the front end page and you will you can see the tooltip option over there then we have a special effect option 
you can see the two colors are coming up this effect will be scroll based so when you scroll to that section it will swap like that you can select the colors and other options as per image then you have the parallax move option on hover of that section you can see the parallax effect you can select its values there is a hover tilt effect it will be something like this in uh, when you select the hover tilt effect it will by default take on the whole cascading section you cannot select hover tilt for the individual sections you can make its value higher or lower as per your needs then you have the option for link or pop-up if you want to open this uh, uh, open link on new tab or add no follow or something like that you can put here and then you have option of pop-up you can just put the link of youtube or the vimeo or google map or whatever you can put here and it will be open on the pop-up something like this it's gone yeah just a second so you have options for the pop-up and link then you have options for the overlay background these all the options will be on normal and hover like you can select the normal options and then on hover you have the all the options again like for example if you have opacity of 0.5 and on hover you have the one then you can see something like this just a second i think i need to turn off the hover tilt so we can see properly now you can see something like this okay. so you can play with the box shadow you can change the box shadow on hover you also have option for the transform css you can put the transform css here and it will take it take effect let me show you the example you can go and find out the css uh, transform properties from anywhere for example i'm going to w3 school and you have the options here uh, for example let's go to here and take this you just need to copy paste that code and you will see that effect over here and if you want to change it on hover you can again choose any other effect something like this you just need to copy paste you can make many creative sections using these options and you have the option for the border radius as i shown this in the beginning of the video another option is responsive visibility like if you are making very creative section in the desktop and you don't want that on the tablet and the mobile you can turn it off so that section will not show in the mobile or tablet and that, that option you can select for individual individuals like if you have hidden make uh, this section hidden for the tablet this section will not appear but this section will be there so you have all the options and especially all your positions options are for the response so you can manage everything from there so let me show you we have selected mobile And that section is hidden because we did from did that from here, right? So you can quite like this. So you have all the options. You can manage it well. 
you can see the parallax over here and you can see further details on our demo so if you have any questions write us on the content box comment box below hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on cascading images subscribe our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video